Hello, I'm Sneha Koshi. India scripted history by becoming the first nation to land the Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft on the moon's south pole. This propels India to the elite space club, one of the only four countries to land on the moon. The touchdown took place at around 6 p.m. on Wednesday amid huge cheer in the war room of IS ISRO in Bengaluru and celebrations across the country. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who joined in the event online from South Africa where he's attending the BRICS summit, said this moment is precious and unprecedented. This moment announces the victory bugle of a new India. At around 9.15 the night on Thursday, Rova Pragyan began to roll out of Vikram Lander. This is an image posted by ISRO. The image captured by the landing imager camera. After the landing, it shows a portion of Chandrayaan 3's landing site. Seen also is a leg and its accompanying shadow. Chandrayaan 3 shows a relatively flat region on the lunar surface. There are congratulatory messages pouring in. Russian President Putin congratulated India, saying Chandrayaan 3's successful landing shows its impressive progress in science and technology. NASA has congratulated ISRO. Con congratulations, ISRO, on your successful Chandrayaan 3 lunar South Pole landing. And congratulations to India on being the fourth country to successfully soft land a spacecraft on the moon. We are glad to be your partner on this mission. And I'm being joined uh, by Pallav Bagla right now. Uh, Pallav, you have been taking us through this amazing journey right for the past several days, over two weeks now. Pallav, very quickly, now what would India be looking at as even uh, the rover rolls out? Well, I did look, go out and look up at the sky. I saw the moon and the moon seemed different because now the Vikram lander is on it. The Indian flag is there. The Pragyan rover, the ramp has been deployed. The rover will slowly come out. It, it literally crawls at a snail's pace and the six wheel powered rover then comes out to the surface of the moon and then the real science begins on the moon's surface. Both the Vikram lander and the Pragyan rover are, uh, are to last nominally for what are called 14 Earth days. That is when there is sunlight on the moon, both are solar powered. So after 14 days, if we get any more life on the Pragyan rover and Vikram lander, after the uh, lunar night ends, that would be a big bonus. But today, India is over the moon. India is on top of the moon, nearer the South Pole. India has its flag properly and fully planted there. If ever the resources of the moon are to be shared, then India has a big stake in it. India has also signed the Artemis Accords. So this region can be well staked by India. So it's a very big, glorious day for India. And the point where Vikram has landed, I'm calling India Point, the region, the strip where it has landed, I have called Kalam Bihar and because it has landed the nearer the South Pole, the region I am calling Chandra Gangotri, essentially because we had Dakshin Gangotri when the Antarctica first uh, uh, permanent base was set up. So all Pala? set for glorious days for India and Indian scientists to give right. excellent results which should make headlines again. Well, of this image that you're seeing, something that ISRO has posted, can you just very briefly explain to us what is this? Oh, this image is so beautiful. It shows one leg of the Vikram lander and it shows a fairly flat terrain beyond that, which means the rover should be able to have a good run in a relatively flat, even terrain. Uh, the rover is inches crawls very slowly so it looks like a flat terrain and the rover should have a good run on it and the earlier images we saw with there was a golden thing which is coming out which shows that the ramp of the Vikram lander has been deployed and this is the image where you can see the the ramp has been deployed and the Vikra the Pragyan rover is slowly going to crawl down from this ramp, it's a very, very, very slow process. Right. And then it comes down to the moon surface. And, the, and during 
sometime soon is what the moment I have been waiting for is to get the first images from the Pragyan rover to the Vikram lander and the Vikram lander to the Pragyan right. rover, the first selfies from the moon surface for India. And I am particularly looking forward to that moment. I'm a photographer at heart. So that's going to be a lovely image for me. And all the reporting we've done for years and years, this has been right. a glorious culmination of that. Right. Thank you so much, Pallav Bagla, uh, for your very fascina fascinating explanation, something that all of our viewers would surely cherish. Now, this is how India announced the Chandrayaan success to the world. Sir, we have achieved soft landing on the moon. India is on the moon. Honorable, Honorable Prime Minister called me and conveyed his greetings to each one of you, you and your family for the wonderful work you did in ISRO. Uh, so thank, uh, thanks are to him for the support that he is giving to us for missions like Chandrayaan 3 and the missions that are in the offing. I want to tell you and I want to thank you also for each and everyone who prayed with us in the last many days, uh, who wanted this uh, success to happen in ISRO. I thank all those people in all around the country and maybe be beyond the country for their blessings and wishes and, and affection that he has given to each one of us for doing this work for the last so many years. India is now on the moon. Friends, on this joyous occasion, I would like to address all the people of the world, the people of every country and region, India's successful moon mission is not just India's alone. Our approach of one earth, one family, one future is resonating across the globe. This human-centric approach that we present and that we represent has been welcomed universally. Our moon mission is also based on the same human-centric approach. We can all aspire for the moon and beyond. Mere parivar jano, Chandrayaan maha biyan ke yuplabdi, Bharat ki udan ko, Chandrama ki kakshao se aage jayegi. And that was Prime Minister Modi who witnessed ISRO's success from Johannesburg where he's attending BRICS summit. And uh, Congress President Malikarjun Kharge and several others across the political spectrum have cheered India's success. Chandrayaan 3 ki safalta pratek bharati ki samuhik safalta hai. Ham sab ke liye garu ki baat hai. 140 karod bharatiyo ne apne 6 dasak purane antariksh karikram mein aaj ek aur uplabdi dekhi. Ham apne vaidnyani ko space engineers, researchers or is mission ko safal banane mein shamil sabhi logon ki lagan, kadi mahinat aur samarpan ko salam karte hain. And India's Chandrayaan-3 satellite has been in the making for four years and many teams worked even as the country faced COVID-19 pandemic. ISRO chairman S. Somnath says Almost 1,000 engineers and scientists would have worked in getting this nearly 700 crore rupee mission up and running. At ISRO, gender makes no difference, only talent counts. NDTV's Pallav Bagla handpicks some who made a critical difference in the making of Chandrayaan 3. 3, 2, 1, 0. Thank you. India's moon stars, also added a some of the, the faces who contributed you can watch the to the Jubilee Chandrayaan 3 mission. Officer scientists Sri in the mission S. Control Somana, Center. 
chairman Indian Space Research Organization Bangalore an aerospace engineer who helped in the design of the rocket the launch vehicle mark 3 or the bahubali rocket that lifted chandrayaan 3 into orbit an alumnus from the prestigious indian institute of science bangalore incidentally he can speak sanskrit satyalakshyam adhigandum klechakah and has acted in a sanskrit film titled gyanam his name somnath means lord of the moon Dr Unni Krishnan Nair S Director Vikram Sarabhai Space Center Tiruvananthapuram He heads India's key facility for research on rocketry He is an aerospace engineer who is spearheading India's effort to send an astronaut into space An alumnus from the prestigious Indian Institute of Science Bangalore He was the first director of the Human Space Flight Center Shri Vera Muthuvel P Project Director Chandrayaan 3 Mission UR Rao Satellite Center Bangalore Being the project director for Chandrayaan 3 Mission for the last 4 years he has lived a life that revolves around this third lunar outing by India Kalpana K Deputy Project Director Chandrayaan 3 Mission UR Rao Satellite Center Bangalore the smiling face that kept the largest chandrayaan 3 team working despite the hardships of the covid-19 pandemic her leadership brings to the fore the nari shakti that isro has nurtured miss m vanita deputy director ur rao satellite center bangalore a soft spoken understated leader who was project director for the chandrayaan 2 mission an electronics and systems engineer She became the first woman in India to lead a lunar mission. She M Sankaran, Director UR Rao Satellite Center Bangalore, considered the powerhouse of ISRO since his expertise lies in making novel power systems and solar arrays that go on to power satellites. It was his job to make sure the Chandrayaan 3 satellite was adequately hot and cold tested. Dr V Narayanan Director Liquid Propulsion System Center Tiruvananthapuram a specialist on liquid propulsion engines the Vikram lander will attempt the soft landing on the thrusters developed under his leadership Shri B N Ramakrishna Director ISRO Telemetry Tracking and Command Network Bangalore The Chandrayaan-3 satellite is literally dancing around the moon thanks to the command sent by his institution. The final 20 minutes of terror will be witnessed from a flying saucer shaped building at Istrak. End of the day, it is all about teamwork. And ISRO certainly exemplifies how excellent talent has been nurtured over decades and is paying rich dividends. In New Delhi, Pallav Bagla for NDTV. Welcome back. And at least 22 workers were killed on Wednesday as an under construction railway bridge collapsed in Mizoram. The government sources fear that the death toll might only go up. The accident happened nearly 21 kilometers away from Aizol. In fact, uh, the rescue operations visuals that have emerged show just how difficult the entire rescue operations have been. This railway bridge being built over the Kurum River connecting Bairavi in Assam to Sairang near Aizol in Mizoram. collapsed this morning killing many construction workers an engineering marvel built on very rough terrain the bridge was part of the northeast frontier railways 51.38 kilometers railway project between bairabi and sairam ndrf and railways engineers and rescue teams along with state government agencies are carrying out search and rescue operations <laughs> Prime Minister Narendra Modi has tweeted 
an ex gratia of rupees 2 lakh from prime minister's national relief fund to the next of kin of each deceased and rupees 50000 for those injured sources say most of the workers were migrants from west bengal jagay ekjon amra itimoddhe dead body anar byabostha korechi dead body rele kore asche malday pouchhobe amra poribar gulor shothe jogajog rakhchi ebong amra poribar guloke sahajjo nischoy korbo sathe sathe ami rel er kache dabi korbo rel er kaj korte giye jodi keu mara jay ekta rel er chakri sei poribar ke apnader dite hobe tar karon tara apnader jonno kaj korte geche the project was to be finished in december but this accident will now be a setback with inputs from dalidia fanai in azol and ratnadeep chaudhry in guwahati usama shah for ndtv and the center has announced major changes in the education system in line with the new education policy the ministry of education has said that the board exams will be conducted twice a year with students allowed to retain their best scores it also said that students of class 11th and 12th need to study two languages and at least one of them must be an indian language according to the ministry in order to make the board exams easier at least that's what they say than the current high stakes practice the examination will assess the understanding and achievement of competencies rather than months of coaching and memorizing also the choice of subjects in 11th and 12th class will not be restricted to streams such as humanities science and commerce to give students flexibility to choose across streams And now to some international news a business jet en route from Moscow to St Petersburg crashed on Wednesday killing all 10 people on board that's what a Russian emergency official has said now mercenary chief Prigozhin was on the passenger list according to the officials but it wasn't immediately clear if he was on board and uh, prigozhin was of course uh, the leader who led the led the revolt against russian president putin <laughs> 